You're watching King 5 News. A King 5 investigation finds the lieutenant governor goes hunting, fishing, and runs an archery business all during work hours. You, you know, you want to corner me into saying, oh, yes, there's going to be a conflict. I'm not cornering you. There's not going to be a conflict. It's one of two exclusive stories you'll see on King 5 tonight. But first, a mother's powerful story of loss and forgiveness. I always told her I loved her. I always hugged her. I always kissed her. So I have, I have no regrets. For the first time, we're hearing from the mother of Zoe Galasso, one of the four students killed in the Marysville Pilchuck school shooting. I look at it all the time. It's where I gather all my strength. It's where I get all my strength from. For the last two weeks, Michelle Galasso started her day with a message. What does that message say? It says, happy birthday to my mom, my other half best friend. Her daughter Zoe sent it to her a few months ago. I look up to you. You're the strongest person I know and I wouldn't be who I am without you in my life. This is the message Michelle prefers to read. I guess this is all I have. Considering the last message she sent Zoe. At 1140 on Friday, are you okay? She never heard back. Okay, so here's all the names. There's um, Shaylee. There's Andrew Freiberg. There's uh, Zoe Glasso. Being around her made you want to just be happy. She had a laugh that <laughs> was contagious. <laughs> she was <laughs> beautiful inside and out. Zoe was Michelle's best friend. She was her baby. The most giving, the most wonderful, just the most wonderful person. TV responding to shooting at Marysville Pilchuck High School in the cafeteria. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. And that's why all of this is so hard to understand. I am worried, sick about my son. We haven't heard anything yet. And I think everybody's calling it. We just don't know. It was Friday, October 24th at Marysville Pilchuck High School. We're praying for all the kids involved. I just I can't talk right now. Where's your shooter, Chris? We are all in the cafeteria. We are confirming two deceased at this time. It's scary. It's hard. One is the shooter. Let's go, everybody. Single file. And Let's go. the second deceased, it, it, at this time, we're not confirming whether it's student or staff. We just want to hold our daughter. Yeah. Shooting at the high school, the cafeteria. Sitting in my boss's office and um, a co-worker came in to tell me that there had been a shooting at my children's school. And all of a sudden she saw a string of text messages from her only other child, Raiden. I was in shock. I felt sick. He's a junior at MP. He's in a panic and he's at the school and he's scared and he's hearing the rumors that it was the shooter was Jalen and that it's possibly Zoe and her friends. The shooting did originate in the cafeteria, as we understand it. After the shooting, emergency responders took two boys to Harborview in Seattle and two girls to Providence in Everett. All are still critically ill, very critically ill. I mean, they don't want to under, I mean, I, I will tell you, they all have very, very serious wounds. Once we gathered all the family, we all went to the hospital with mass confusion and children coming in with, you know, head wounds, it's hard to decipher who's who, and all the girls looked a lot alike. We were trying to establish their identities. When did you know? For us, they, they finally, finally had to tell us that um, our child had passed at the school. Yes, and into the cafeteria. So we died in the cafeteria alongside the shooter, Jalen Freiberg. You knew Jalen? Yeah. You watched him grow up? I know that family. I love that family. Could you ever forgive Jalen for what he did? I have to. I have to forgive him. In order for me to move on, I have to. I'll never know why he did it. And he took away one of the best things that I ever brought into this world. He did. But he's a child too. And in order for me to heal from this, I have to forgive him because I cannot waste my life hating or being angry. I just can't. You've spoken with Jalen's parents since this incident. Yes. How did that conversation go? I hugged his mom.
told her I loved her. She's hurting. She's grieving. She lost her child as well. There are so many flowers here. It's so beautiful. Oh, look at this one. The pain of this tragedy can be seen and heard all over Marysville. We are one school, one family. Stay strong and stay together. It's praying for Marysville Pilchuck High School. When you see that face, what do you think of? I just love it. <laughs> I just love to look at it. I just, I can't get enough of looking at her. <laughs> Michelle knows if Zoe could send her a message today, it would look something like this. I hope your day is just as great as you. So for now, she'll hang on to the good times yeah. and forgive the bad. Yeah, she's always smiling. Just like Zoe would want. Zoe and I had more than just a mother-daughter relationship. We were best friends. Certainly a courageous woman. Michelle wanted me to thank all of you for the incredible tributes here at the fence outside the high school. She tells me that she's hoping to start a scholarship in her daughter's honor. But in the meantime, she's working to help raise funds to build a brand new cafeteria at Marysville Pilchuck High School. If you're interested in helping with that effort, you can log on to our website at king5.com. Dennis and Lori. Alex, and millions of parents drop their kids off at school every morning across this country. It's hard not to worry. Did Michelle, and she really seems like a strong woman, have any advice for parents? She sure did. She said that you can't live in fear as much as we may feel we need to. She said you can't send your kid to school with a metal suit on every single day as much as you may want to. She said all you can do is hug them and love them. And then she paused and she told me, that's exactly what I did with my daughter Zoe every day for a wonderful 14 years. We're live in Marysville tonight. I'm Alex Rozier, King 5 News. Thanks, Alex.